Hi, this is Tutor Nick Ping, and this is Adjective Phrase 147. The adjective phrase today is well endowed. Okay, and we got actually four meanings and four uses. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. All right, here's the first one. A well endowed organization has a lot of money and resources. Okay, number two. A woman who is well endowed has large breasts and attractive curves. Okay. Number three, a man who is well endowed has a large lower sex organ. Okay. Uh, number four, and another meaning of uh, well endowed is having a significant measure of, of a natural gift or ability. Okay, let's continue. The meaning of having a lot of money or resources dates back to the 1680s. And being well endowed meant one had a lot of material resources. It was especially used with a woman's dowry that she brought into a marriage. Remember, in former times, at least in the West, um, usually the woman's family had to give the money, uh, you know, when starting a new marriage off. So that was kind of considered like a, you know, a, a marriage endowment. You know, they were so they were well endowed in that sense. Okay. All right. The sexual meaning started to become popularized in the 1950s. One of the earliest uses of the sexual meaning comes from W. Sheldon and S. Stevens' psychology in 1942. So these were psychologists that actually started to use it. They used it, I think, in, in uh, one of their writings in 1942. And by the 1950s, this use started to become common. Okay, and we got four examples to show just how it's used, you know, one for each meaning. The first one, uh, that school has many benefactors and donations from their alumni, and they are a well-endowed organization. So they got a lot of money given to them. They got a lot of donations from people that graduated from that university or people that somehow were associated with it. All right, number two, Dolly Parton was naturally well-endowed and even had a breast reduction operation. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before. I think she's the only woman I ever known that um, she, her breasts were, you know, so large. She was so well endowed that she had an operation the opposite way. You know, most of the time if you hear women have operations, it's where they're usually trying to become bigger. Uh, but again, Dolly Parton was so well endowed, she tried to go the other way. All right, number four, uh, he has a little bit of a complex because he is not very sexually well endowed. So this would be some poor guy where Maybe his lower sexual organ is maybe very small. Okay, good. And number four, uh, the character Forrest Gump had a heart of gold, but he was not well endowed in the IQ department. Remember, his IQ was low. Uh, so, again, this is meaning having a, a natural gift or ability. So you can go the opposite way with it, you know, like with these examples. You could say somebody's not well endowed or you can say somebody is well endowed. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.